Welcome to the World Drone Market Channel. Today's video is the C-UniRC7 and VK Flight Controller Wiring Tutorial. The video is divided into three main sections. What products will be used in this test? How to connect the wires? How to display the results? What products will be used in this test? The products used in this test are BKV10 Pro Kit C-UniRC7 25.2V Battery the wires used are UniRC 7S dot bus wire, UniRC 7 Telem wire, UniRC 7 receiver power wire, BKV 10 Pro power wire. How to connect the wires? The connector for the UniRC 7 is GH 1.253 pin, and the BKV 10 Pro uses a DuPont 2.54 mm 4 pin connector. This wire is custom made according to the pinout. The UniRC 7 URD port connects to the VKV10 Pro module's Telem port. The connector on the UniRC7 is a GH1.25 2-pin, while the connector on the VKV10 Pro is a 2.54mm 4-pin DuPont header. This cable is custom-made according to the wire sequence. The UniRC7S dot bus interface is connected to the VKV10 Pro module S dot bus interface. The Genesis module connects to the VKV10 Pro's GPS-1 port. Two RTK antennas are connected to the ANT1 and ANT2 interfaces of VKV10 Pro. ANT1 is the primary positioning antenna. When installed on the left and right, it is positioned on the left side. When installed on the front and back, it is positioned on the rear side. ANT2 is the primary directional antenna. When installed on the left and right, it is positioned on the right side. When installed on the front and back, it is positioned on the front side. Connect power to the VKV10 Pro and the UniRC7 receiver. How to display the results? Turn on the remote controller. First, open the UniGCS ground station. Go to the settings. Click on the data transmission settings. Select UDP for Data Link 1. 
and set baud rate 1 to 115,200. Next, open the VK Flight Controller Ground Station. The ground station will automatically recognize and connect to the remote controller. If not, click Unconnected and add a label. I've already pre-added the RC7 label. Let's enter the label settings, choose UDP for the connection method. Set the port to 0, and enter the server IP as 192.168.144.20.19856. Click connect and you should see the ground station is connected on the flight interface. In the ground station device, go to the remote controller interface to check if the flight controller is connected to the SBUS receiver signal and calibrate the signal if necessary. In the FC interface, we can update the flight controller's firmware. In the battery interface, you can manually input the battery voltage for accuracy. Below, you can select the gimbal's RTSP address. If your gimbal brand is not listed, you can manually input the RTSP address. Here you can map and configure payload devices that use PWM signals like dropper servos and lighting. You can view radar data with the flight controller interfacing with the radar through a CAN-HUB. Click on Factory Mode. In the Model Interface, select the drone frame type, including motor direction and wiring order. It's crucial to follow the wiring diagram carefully to avoid damage. In the install interface, configure the flight control module antennas, remote controller ESC, etc., according to the actual installation positions. The GNSS module should be installed in an open, unobstructed area, away from motors, high current cables, and metallic objects, for optimal satellite signal reception and magnetic alignment. The V10 Pro flight controller is configured with dual antenna orientation, and generally, magnetic calibration is not required. In the parameters interface, the default sensitivity parameters are suitable for most flight conditions. For common power setups, we offer recommended parameters as follows. Some tuning suggestions. Besides the parameters in sensitivity settings, Adjustments may be needed for different power setups and drone platforms. Most other parameters do not require modification. When the body experiences low frequency shaking, slightly increased roll attitude stability, and pitch attitude stability, adjusting by 10 to 20 each time. Also, you can increase roll damping and pitch damping by 1 to 2 each time. For higher frequency vibrations, reduce roll attitude stability, and pitch attitude stability by 10 to 20 each time. Also, reduce roll damping and pitch damping by 1 to 2 each time. If the drone wobbles once or twice after returning the sticks to center, then stabilizes, increase roll damping and pitch damping by 1 to 2 each time. For special needs, you can contact our technical support with information such as ESC model, wheelbase, takeoff weight and propeller size and we will provide appropriate parameter suggestions. In the remote control interface, you can check if the flight controller is connected to the SBUS receiver signal and calibrate the signal. The options for American and Japanese hands only affect the joystick diagram's throttle and heading channel display position. To modify the remote controller hand mode, you need to adjust it in the remote controller's app or settings. In this page, you can check the throttle signal output to the ESCs. If using CAN ESCs, 
you can configure their numbers and check detailed information such as voltage, current, and speed. This concludes the C-UniRC 7 and VK Flight Controller Wiring Tutorial. Thank you for watching. To learn more, stay tuned to the World Drone Market Channel. See you in the next video.